I think we need a jolly song before we head into the shadow fell. We're going to the shadow fell. Shadow heart's going to turn into a monster. Going to be a murderous dark cleric. Dark justice, she are. She will kill us all, probably, when we go to the Shadowfell. Okay, let's go. With haste. Um, again, I don't really know if I should go alone or with everyone, so we're all going to the Shadowfell. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Um... Well, I don't really want to disturb her. Do I want to feel inside her mind? It feels intrusive, really. I don't want to use the power of the parasite. I'm just going to leave her to her prayers. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. What's going on, Shadowheart? Nothing. Just a show of respect. Trust me, you wouldn't want to displease her. Not here. Let's continue. All right. That was weird. After praying to Shar, Shadowheart told us that she needs to proceed to where a final test awaits her. If she succeeds, if she succeeds, she shall be anointed as a dark justiciar. Uh, she didn't say any of that, though, as I hiccup. Hiccuping, the best time to record videos. Your party is gathered. You are ready, or so you hope. Are you sure you want to proceed? Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change and some active quests may become unavailable. What? Nobody told me that. Does that... I mean, I'm sure they must be talking about... Raphael and, and the devil. Or are they talking about Balthazar? It's got to be Raphael and the the devil, right? Surely. I hate it. I super duper hate it when games do this to you. It's like, well, you, if you go this way, something is irrevocably going to change. But we're not going to tell you what it is. So, yeah, screw you, I guess, player. We don't care about you or your feelings. You know, at this point, they've done it so many times, I don't really even care anymore. I'm kind of... I'm kind of over their mind games. We're just going. Party is gone. We are going. We can reload if something goes badly. Wait, why is Tabby... As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. It curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight. Where was the rest of the party? Why was I the only one in the cutscene? Four new journal updates are available. Did I just walk into Act 3 or something? Whoa. Oh, 
Are we sure this is where we're meant to be, Shadowheart? Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadowfell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Um... Balthazar? Um... How did you get here? I cleared the way to this place, not you. Why shouldn't I just kill you instead of letting you interfere, Balthazar? Raise one finger to me, and I'd sunder you like lightning would a rotten oak. Now, enough dullard questions. Follow me. Um... The Night Song's prison. I feel lighter. Unburdened. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. Well, we're all affected by Featherfall, it seems. So what has happened to all of our quests? Balthazar follows us into the Shadowfell. He intends to claim the relic. We should hurry after him. We left the area before Amalum could help. We'll need to find a cure somewhere else. Well, okay, the mind we're never going to find a cure from any Mind Flayers or anyone else. We can't... Druid Halson isn't going to help us, right? Right. Our search for the Night Song led us to the Shadowfell. A cage lies at its base. I guess there's a woman there that somebody's going to have to kill. We left the blood of Lathander somewhere deep within Rosie Morn Monastery. Whoopsie. We left without unraveling the mysteries of the Adamantine Forge. We no longer have the amulet. What amulet? The cursed monk amulet? Mentioned an amulet of great power that also made the wearer laugh. Okay, we don't have that. We left without figuring out what happened to Maul. Okay, wow, just a lot of things. Just, <laughs> we just... Okay. Whatever. If they think I'm gonna play, you know, a hundred plus hour game multiple times to find all the answers to these quests, they are sadly mistaken. So, uh, I guess I will never find out any of those things. I think I will be lucky to get one companion quest completed in my first playthrough. Um... Yeah, that does bring up an interesting question. I mean, how, how do you play this game multiple times? You can't play a hundred plus hour game multiple times. It's just not a thing. Uh, this feels like, um... What, what, are we supposed to just jump off the edge? How do we jump off the edge here? Hey, neat, the game's turned into a platformer again. Uh... Uh... <laughs> what... <laughs> Mechanically, how does this work? <laughs> Is there like a... Do I have a new skill for like floating or something? <laughs> We're all affected by... It. I mean, I assume that I'm somehow supposed to get from here to there, but... What are the game mechanics that would allow me to do that? Do I jump? It says invalid target. It says path is interrupted. Okay, here we go. Jumping. 
made it. Oh, dark justitias are here. Shadowheart, perhaps, perhaps you should go first. Just a little bit farther. See my actions, Lady Shah. Hear my words of faith. Is this the end of the game? Is this like the 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 final the final battle? Blessed Night Singer, witness my adoration. There's a flag. This can't. I mean, I'm only level six. It can't be the end of the game. This is just such a weird mechanic. Why would they make us do this? The camera is not up to this. I have emptied my heart of falsehoods. I have vanquished your foes. <laughs> this is a pretty cool story Descent moment. To her. Nearly there. Have to keep going. This is a pretty cool Descent story moment. Lady Shaw's will shall be done, as sure as night will fall. <laughs> Lady Shaw's will shall be done, as sure as night will fall. Oh no, how do we get there? Perhaps you're right. Perhaps you're incapable of feeling at all. Please, Aiden, spare me. Your insults have been tired and shot for years. They're talking without me. Balthazar and the Night Song, level 8, Singer of Sorrows. They're soul caged. They have one hit point. Balthazar, commander of the reborn undead. Here we go. Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time? And you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aelin. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Ketherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thor. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. Mm, I can't let you take her, Balthazar says Shadowheart. What are you going to do to her? Bring her home. What else? Aileen is so much more than you comprehend. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul cage of my creation and lending her immortal strength to General Thorn. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar. For maggots ate his brain long ago. 
Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. You are the one who interferes in Lady Shah's bidding. For that you must die. And I must quick save. Death only frightens those of limited vision. You should be terrified, godling. Let us make short work of this. Oh my word. <laughs> uh, well. Um. About a hundred enemies have just appeared. <laughs> They're all undead. Balthazar is casting Ray of Sickness on Gale. Gale's gonna counterspell. But he casts it again. and luckily missed. Where is Tavi in this initiative order? You have got to be kidding me. Tavi is a million miles away because she wasn't able to jump down. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Wow, okay, well... Hold on, everyone! Wait, wait for me! I was trying to keep up, but I'm too little! I can't make it all that way! I can't make it the way you guys do! Watching me. I have to have special treatment! My mechanics are different from y'all big people mechanics! Hold on, I'm getting there. I'll be there in a moment to help you with your final battle. It will just take me a million years to climb all the way down. Oh, 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 so we actually have some enemies. Okay, now Tavi's in the battle. <laughs> um, so there are some enemies up on the rocks here. It's actually quite nice that Tavi's up there. Whose turn is it now? Shadowheart's turn. So... Okay, so my question immediately is, can I run over and kill the Night Song? Where is the Night Song in the initiative? And the Night Song is not in the initiative anywhere. I mean, Shadowheart is going to immediately run over and kill the Night Song and then get the power of Shar on her side, right? That's, that's what we need to do. Surely. She's going to strike the night song. My destiny! I will rise again. Um, well, I hope not. Were we not supposed to do that? I feel like that's what we were supposed to do, but I also feel like I've made a tremendous mistake. Um,. With her bonus action, she's going to do this Shars Aegis, which is going to give us extra AC, right? It's going to give us two extra points of AC. So she has an AC of 21 now. I'll take you all on, undead. Filthy, monstrous undead. Come closer to me so that I can turn you all. Um, 
Gail's gonna make an effort to uh, get away from the edge. Um, he's gonna he's gonna come around the side here. He's gonna go right into the middle here. Because whoever's near the edge is definitely going to get kicked off the side, for sure. Okay, so he's going to save his third level spells for counter spells. Um, okay, what kind of immunities do these guys have? They're immune to poison. They resist bludgeoning. They're all immune to poison, okay. All immune to poison, resist bludgeoning. All the same, it looks like. Apostate sentinels, they're all skeletons. Oh my god, okay, this one's a resist some more thing. But they're not immune to fire. Or thunder. God, there's so many of them. Um. Oh my God, what does Gale do? Do we have mage armor on? Yes, we already have mage armor on. This really feels like a like a major problem here. Maybe we go invisible until we get a better position. They all have undead ward. I think that's coming from the apostate destroyer. Paladin and any nearby allies have a plus three bonus on saving throws. Okay, they're resistant to... Oh, man. Uh, also, I'm going to try to use that bell <laughs> to summon the, uh, the flesh golem, but... I have a feeling it's going to turn against us immediately, but I have to try it. Wait. You know what else I have? I also have the, uh, the ogres. God, a thunder wave would be a great thing to do right now, too, but, uh... Can we do a thunder wave? He's already used up his movement. I'm gonna try to try to do a thunder wave to hit this apostate destroyer and not Karlak. Here we go. Second level. Made it save. No effect. Ugh. Alright, well that was all Gale could do. Undead. Attacking Tavi. Attacking Karlac, both missed. One of them ran up and tried to hit Shadowheart, hit her for eight points of damage. She maintains concentration. It's now Tavi's turn. Tavi, who is a million miles away from everything. Um. He's got to jump to make it next to these sentinels. And then move a little further. And then, oh, she can't do a shove attack. Okay, that's fine. But she is going to trigger the Phalar Aluve Melody. And I think she's going to do... Oh, God. 
God, either it's not going to really help a whole lot. She's going to do the shriek effect. And she's, well, she's not going to do anything now because she just wasted her action. Okay. Okay, bunch of turns coming up. Ray of Frost on Karlak. Let's counterspell it. Oh, Tavi was supposed to... Oh, god damn it. I was supposed to summon somebody. Gale's under assault. Gets hit by six points. Shadowheart's under attack. Miss. A hit for two. Karlak is now up. Karlak's gonna do... Uh, some wild magic. She's gonna run... First she's gonna try to shove this apostate destroyer off. Yes! He's... He's gone. He's dead. <laughs> he's out of there. Uh, now she is gonna run into the center and hit the other apostate destroyer. Down the hatch. That's a critical hit for 13 second attack. Five points of damage, yikes. All right, that's all we can do. The other destroyer runs up, hits Gale for 14. Oh, I thought he was going to do a second of that. Gale is asleep now. Another ray of frost on Karlak hits. They're all dashing around Karlak. They're attacking Shadowheart. Critical hit on Shadowheart and a miss on Shadowheart. A miss on Shadowheart. A miss on Karlak. It will be a kindness to put an end to your follies. Oh no, the night song is back. Cloud kill. Karlak's down. Shadowheart's concentration is broken. Um, should she do, t oh, turn undead is going to get so many of them if it works. Okay, here we go, turning undead. And then she's got to run out of this. Oh my god, so many of them made their saves. So many of them. Oh god, okay, well this is a TPK, so... Neat. She's gotta, she can't do anything. She's gotta do a bonus action heal. She's gonna have to run out of here. got to run out of this cloud kill, that's for sure. One attack of opportunity misses. Another one misses. And I think she's out of the cloud kill. She's out of it now, so that's good. Karlak's gonna die, though. Um, she can move around this way. She's used all of her actions, though. So who's down? Gale's down. Uh, Karlak is still up. Gale's gonna die. There's nothing we can do about that. He's in the cloud kill. <laughs> He's just gonna die. Period. The end. Um, that's all that Shadowheart can do. That was a very disappointing turn undead spell, is what that was.
Tavi takes a point blank shot. Another shot, but both miss. Um, she can get away, I believe. But should she, though? That is the question. in the cloud kill, she's probably going to take some damage. Five to forty damage every turn. Man, that is brutal. Maybe Gale's, uh... Oh, he's un... He's not... He doesn't do the, the damage anymore. do? What does Tavi do? She's gonna run... She's gonna run closer. Um... Can we do a Tasha's Hideous Laughter? Oh, just out of range. Just out of range. Gonna try to move. Nah, she's gonna. She's gonna be in danger. She can't do it. She cannot do it. She can misty step though, can't she? No, she cannot misty step. I thought she had a misty step. Where's that amulet? There's an amulet somewhere that does a misty step. I thought she was wearing that. Um. I mean, she can heal Gale, but what's the point? He's in a cloud kill. He's not going to get away. His turn is passed. Yeah, he's definitely going to die. Um, Gale, uh, uh, Tavi is going to have to move a little bit closer and risk getting knocked off here. And then pray still out of range. Balthazar is just out of range. Oh, that stinks. Can we do a super long distance shot? No, we cannot. Um... Do we have any scrolls? Check the scrolls. Vampiric touch, shatter... Scorching Ray or Frost. Planar Binding. Oh, it will follow you. Oh, okay, what about the bell? Do we summon... Do we summon the thing? I'm gonna... I'm gonna quick save before I do this, and if if we summon this thing and it turns out it's gonna fight against us, I will reload and not do that because I think it probably will do that though. Uh, uh, golem, yeah, let's summon the golem. It didn't do anything. It didn't... It didn't summon. Okay, so... Well, it didn't waste an action, so that's fine. Okay. What about those ogres? Uh... Was it like a horn or something? Lump's war horn. Sound this horn to call Lump's frenzied band of ogres. They will feast on anyone they can get their hands on. We're going to sound the horn. I'm far beyond Ogre ears. 
Okay, well that didn't do anything either. Okay, well, at least it didn't use up an action or a bonus action. Oh, a scroll of Crown of Madness. Oh, it's concentration, though. Scroll of Conjure Minor Elemental. Could be useful. It's not concentration. Okay, select a variant. Uh, level four. Oh my god. Insufficient level. Oh, I can't do it without a spell slot. Oh, that sucks. What about Crown of Madness? Who can we hit with a Crown of Madness? It must be humanoid. Oh god. Man, these scrolls, man. Blight is a is a big damage spell, but I really want to save that for Gale. Magic missile. Uh Alright, let's check our spells. Slow? Plant growth? I can't hit I can't hit it's too far away. Silence. Can I get him with a silence? I can just get him inside of a silence, so let's do that. Balthazar, that is. He's silenced! I mean, it's not gonna do anything, because he'll just move out and then cast his spells. But it is something which is better than nothing. And with her bonus action, she will do a bardic inspiration on... Where's Karlak? Can we get Karlak? I think Karlak's out of range. Ah, oh, it worked. Okay. And Tavi gets some temporary hit points. Alright, that's the end of her turn, and she's probably gonna get knocked off the edge, I bet. Oh, Karlak hit the dude. Karlak made a save against blindness. Karlak's getting hit. Again getting hit. The game is thinking. I need some oil over here. Okay, it is Karlak's turn. Karlak is very close to dead. <laughs> she's got, what, one, two hit points left. Uh, she's gonna drink a greater healing potion, so she's not gonna be able to rage. But she is going to be able to get out. Oh god, she's gonna take so many attacks of opportunity getting out of here. So many. Oh, God. She's got to get out of there. She, I mean, she has to get out of this cloud kill. She'll take two attacks going this way, so she's gonna try to go this way. That's one, two attacks. Okay, she took three damage. She's gonna get a third attack here. Tavi's gonna do cutting words. Doesn't work. She takes another seven, and she's gonna take another... She's still in the cloud kill. She has to move away again. She has to, or she's dead. The attack of opportunity hits her, she's down. Gale's dead from a fatality. Blindness on Shadowheart, this is over. It's, it's TPK now.
100% TPK now. Shadow Hearts down. I'm getting a little disheartened in this game right now. I'm getting a little bit disheartened at the difficulty level. This feels like another fight that is impossible to win. <laughs> It just feels impossible. I, I don't see my party winning this at level 6. I just don't see it happening. Uh, especially when Turn Undead basically did nothing. Well, it's Tavi's turn now. What's the point? Carlax down. Shadow Hearts down. Can only raise one of them. Even if I could hit them, you know. Carlac's still in the cloud kill, so, you know, that's not going to help her in the slightest, getting up in the middle of a cloud kill. Um, she's going to try to do Tasha's hideous laughter on Balthazar. It's all she can do. <laughs> Very low percentage chance. He made a save, of course. That's the end of her turn, and now the, for the TPK. Carlax down again. Shadow Hearts getting a fatality. Carlax getting a fatality. Carlax dead. Shadow Hearts dead. Tavi's the only one left. They're all immune to the cloud kill, by the way. They're all immune to poison, so they have, you know, no effect from cloud kill for any of these undead. They're all running at Tavi now. Tavi's hit. Too much to bear. They're shooting at Tavi. That's a miss. She's gonna do a cutting words. Makes that one miss for whatever that's worth. Another miss. Another miss. And we're dead. Not for long. Okay, it's another TPK. You know, I am starting to get a little disheartened at the difficulty of this game. I just said this, but man, these fights are really, really hard. I, I don't... This fight does not seem winnable at all. So the only thing that I can do is, uh... I mean, we have no choice but to go along with this. We can't fight the fight, so... <laughs> we can't... <coughs> we can't fight this fight, so... We have to go along with whatever this is. But Shadowheart is supposed to kill this woman, but we can't. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you. No more questions. No more interference. There's no choice. We we have to beat this guy. Uh, this is it. This is the end of the game for me, I guess. Uh... Go on then, take the Night Song to Ketherick. We're gonna reload. We're gonna have to reload from a while ago before we even come into this place. Get it over with? No. This is to be savored. Return to Moonrise Towers. I'm sure we'll find further use for you there. Now don't struggle, Aelin. Well, maybe struggle a little. A pleasure to have made your acquaintance, little warrior. We will meet again. I am eternal. I will be free one day. 
And I never forget a face. Until then. Are you talking to me? Shadow Hearts inspired by failing her mission, apparently. Well, now what? There's the exit from Shadow. Let's try this way. Did we fail everything? Everything failed, right? Chosen of Shar complete. We surrendered Night Song to Balthazar, who took her away to Moonrise Towers. Enraged. Shadowheart turned on us. Did she? She didn't, though. She still likes us. <laughs> she seems fine. Yeah, she just disapproved, that's all. And there's Tavi way up there. Well, okay. So, I, I guess we just have to reload. From... Not there. Not there. We have to reload from here, the Gauntlet of Shar. So we can't go in there until we gain some levels, I guess. So that is so disappointing. I am just so disheartened and disappointed in the game. Uh, I don't. I don't really want to switch out of Tactician difficulty, but. I feel like I'm going to have to to finish this game, because right now I'm just ready to just put this game away forever. If the game's not going to let me play on my terms, then why should I play it? Um, that's just so annoying. It's just so annoying. I mean, how is anybody supposed to win that fight? There were, there had to be like 15 enemies to fight against there. That was insane. That's two fights in a row that are basically unwinnable. It's certainly not at level 6. I mean, I, I I don't I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here, but I'm going to stop cuz I'm I'm annoyed. I'm also annoyed because I returned uh, Starfield, so I can't even play that now. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Ugh, I'm so annoyed with this. Super, super annoyed. Oh well, that's all for now.